Okay, Black Hollywood Live fans, we're at D23, and if you don't know this man, you need yeah. to catch up on your Disney yeah. movies, okay? Yeah. I am with Khalil Thomas from Holes, yeah. and how does it feel be, to be attending this event? It's a dream come true. Uh, I remember seeing the first announcement nine years ago about the very first D23, and I was at my house thinking, man, I would love to be a part of that, or just go. Uh, this year I was invited, and I've been walking around enjoying everything. If you know anything about me, you know I'm a big walking encyclopedia when it comes to Disney knowledge and trivia. I love the characters before the career, before the slick living and goddesses and the werewolves and all that stuff. I was a Disney fan. I grew up loving these characters. I love everything that this company has produced over the years and I'm just excited to be here. Now, you told us a story where you caught someone in Zero and cosplay. Yeah. And how did that feel for you seeing a character you were not expecting to see somebody playing today? Yeah, it, it it really blew my mind because like I, I'm a Disney fan first and foremost. Before all this stuff, I grew up a fan. So I'm one of the very few people in this world that actually gets to play both sides. Yeah. I'm th grateful to have a character on my resume that is considered a legendary character in the Disney you know, spectrum of characters. But at the same time, I'm a, I'm a fan. So to be able to see me kind of blew my mind, man. Kind of blew my mind. Someone gave me the heads up that there was a, a little girl walking around at zero. We found her and it was a great interaction between us. Now you guys check out his Instagram post. There's the most cutest videos and pictures I've seen in my life. Mm. Cause it has to be a surreal moment. Like you did this character a, a, over ten years Homer, ago. Uh, I think it's 16. sixteen. Sixteen years, 16 years ago, ago, and now to still see it coming up, I know that feeling has to be bigger than anything ever. Yeah, amazing feeling. The fact that holds is still a required reading book in certain curriculums. I'm reintroduced to a new generation every single year. And as we've seen, that film has transcended generations already. And it just has a timeless story. People love the characters. So it's zero might just live on forever. And I'm cool with that. <laughs> I'm great with that. You know, there's, there's, uh, I'm the black Harry Potter at this point. Yeah, and the best thing about Disney, it transcends time no matter what age you are, yeah. whether you have kids now and you're introducing the, it to them. Yeah. Because Holes is one of those just amazing stories of friendship yeah. no matter what color you are who you are what you've been through mm -hmm. friends and family can sometimes be both yeah agreed no agreed I, I never heard a take like that before on it someone also told me that zero may go down in history as one of the most legendary treasure hunters in film history <laughs> and i never thought of it like that i'm like oh yeah. yeah he's like an indiana jones in a sense he went out and found a trail like what what would zero be doing now could he be have gone I, I, all I that money that. all that money all that he treasure found i found moms i should be using all that money for something to go do in the world now so yeah. i don't know we may have to you know go sit down and write a script about that actually i think we will all love to see the after story of some of the characters from yeah. holes what their lives are like yeah because you ended in such a great way but there's so much more to tell now I agree. in their lives especially it's been 16 years what are they doing listen the fact that lizzie mcguire is back Right. And then they they pump fake like it's not gonna be uh, Hillary Duff returning, and then she walks out. Amazing moment. I, there's a lot of nostalgia going on right now, but I agree with you. Like people are maybe curious about certain stories, and you know I'm always up to bring them back. Now I have to ask because Roll Bounce is still one of the the best gay films, the best just films for the culture. Would you be up for a? a sequel and to seeing what their lives would be like now maybe they're in the 80s now because it was a very 60s 70s vibe from the first time yeah i w i would really enjoy bringing roll bounce back i think if you can get the original cast back everyone uh locked in i think it'd be a great story to tell as well uh you know i, I had a lot of fun shooting roll bounce we, we filmed for three months in chicago i knew how to skate beforehand a lot of the actors did not so it took one month of training to try to get everybody on board. But I think at this point, you know, people really thoroughly enjoy. Let me ask you a question. Okay. Roll bounce or ATL? That's not fair. You can't do that I to can't me. I can do that because I actually, there, there was an artist who put uh, the roll bounce cast up against the ATL cast in this one painting. And we had more votes. So roll bounce goes down as the best roller skating film. It does. I'm not going to lie. I love ATL, guys. But roll bounce is for the win. Yeah. And before we get out of here, if you could, in a way, come back to the Disney family, whether it's Holes or something new, even Marvel or Star Wars, right. what is something you would really want to do and say, hey, Disney, I'm here? Listen, I'm a Disney fan through, you know, wholeheartedly. Anything that comes my way, I would take it and, and really hold on to that, man, because this is, 
it's it's what I've always loved, man. And uh, you know, of course, we have Marvel. Everyone wants to be a superhero, of course. But even outside of that, if if I could create something specifically for the Disney Plus platform, I think that there's a generation like ourselves who have this nostalgic feeling. We love these characters that we grew up with. I would love to have a show where we talk about, we have discussions about, you know, the trivia about it or the or the uh, you know the fun facts that people didn't know. Like I would love to bring that on. So. Whatever happens in the future, I hope, you know, something lines up that me and Disney get a chance to sit down at the table again.